Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli and I'm a AWS Solution Architect. So in today's video, we will talk about how we can create dynamic CI pipelines for Java, for Python projects automatically. Um, so basically, we will automatically create the build spec file. We will also create and update dependencies and also create a CI CD pipeline using our AWS uh, step functions workflow. Okay, um, so this is the best practice and um, this pattern shows how to create uh, uh, dynamic um, uh, continuous integration pipelines for your Java and Python projects. So uh, as the technology diversify and development activities increase, so it, it can become difficult uh, to create and maintain CI pipelines that are consistent across your organization. So by automating the process in the AWS step functions, um, you can make sure that your CI pipelines are consistent in their usage and approach. Okay, to automate that, um, dynamic pipeline, so we will use Java and Python, we will use a step function workflow. We will also see how we can use this pattern, uh, but also, um, okay, so as a AWS user provide, uh, when the user provides an input parameters for CI pipeline creation, uh, for example, in the JSON format in the step functions, so that input starts the step function workflow, the state machine, basically, so that creates a CI pipeline by using the AWS developer tools, okay? So we will create a Lambda function, reads a folder, uh, which we will upload shortly to the S3 bucket, and then it automatically generates a build spec file, um, which you see in your pipelines. And uh, uh, this generated file defines the CI pipeline stages in a stored bag in the uh, S3 bucket, okay? Um, so step functions also check for these and up updates the checks and creates uh, or updates these dependencies um, in your uh, project and it also creates the step function also creates your code commit repository code build and code pipeline eventually so which is uh, basically creating our entire pipeline flow okay so imagine if you have if, if your organization is working on a various different projects and they wanted to you know create these projects on the fly so it is easy for you to use this pattern so that which will automatically generate these pipelines instead of you spending a lot of time on creating pipelines for every project okay so this is the one of the best practice that i'm uh, showing it to you today and um, so hope you will enjoy uh, the video and um, so let's do something uh, let's go ahead and try to um, check out where the code is so if i go uh, to my github um, so you can see go to aws snippets and under AWS snippets, if you look into automated CI CD pipelines, click on that link and you'll see all the example code that you need for this demo. OK, so just check out this project and try to copy these and um, just use it uh, and modify if you if you'd like. OK, so I'm logged in into my console here already. Um, so if you haven't logged in yet, please do log into your AWS console and uh, we will also um, begin with creating an S3. We will create a CloudFormation stack. We will use the step functions for creating a workflow and then we will verify that in the code commit, code build and code pipeline. Okay, uh, so I hope um, you will enjoy this video. So before we go ahead and please, please, please do like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment, please share. And um, um, this gives me a lot of motivation to do uh, more videos like these. So please uh, stay connected. Okay, here we are in our uh, AWS console. So I'm heading over to the S3 bucket. Um, and we'll create example bucket where we are going to store all our files as we discuss these files like our automated CI/CD pipeline uh, Templates that we want to use. Um, so I'm gonna create a bucket over here, which is my auto mated CI/CD Pipeline Okay, so you can leave all these defaults and just go ahead and create the bucket so we have now created our bucket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all the files that I just mentioned and drop it over here, which is going to upload all the files that are required for this project to work. So make sure you can make sure you upload that and also try to modify and allow more projects so that you can implement not just for Java, not just for Python, you can also include for, for example, like Node.js applications or or Ruby or something like that. So you just need to upload your files and try to try to extend that functionality. So this is the base functionality which only supports Java and Python for now. OK, so you have successfully uploaded all your files that I mentioned in this um, project. So. All right, so what we're going to do next, uh, we will go to our cloud formation um, and we are going to create a stack. OK, um, so which is basically um, 
creating our CI/CD pipelines and we're creating these step functions, workflow and stuff like that. Okay, so choose the file and I'm going to choose a file. All right. Um, I'm going to my automated pipeline where I have my template.yaml file. So basically what you need to do is you need to upload this template.yaml file in your uh, cloud cloud formation stack. So just go ahead and click on next. So you can give it a name, my CI CD pipeline stack. So we're going to enter our bucket name here. Okay, so this is nothing but our template bucket name. So I'm going to open up S3 bucket in a new tab. So in here, so just copy your S3 bucket name and paste it over here. Okay, so these are all the inputs that we need for you for our stack that we are trying to create. So basically we are creating our state machine with the name state machine CICD pipeline creation. We are we are referencing with our S3 bucket where we have uploaded all our um, uh, template files that we need. And then we are also naming, we will also need to create a DynamoDB table and uh, we will also create our stack. Okay, so click on next once you're ready. So you can leave the role name default and go all the way to the bottom and click on next. So, okay, so now let's go ahead and acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation will be creating these IAM resources as well. So for permissions, you don't need to worry about that. So that is already included in our CloudFormation template, which is going to create all the required IAM permissions and also the communication between various services. Okay, now click on submit. So that is going to take some time, um, probably uh, five minutes uh, for you to cr uh, create a step functions workflow and stuff like that. Um, we are also we are also creating AWS Lambda, uh, which will generate our build spec file. So that's what we have discussed in the beginning, that our pipeline is going to, um, so our build file is going to be created by our by our Lambda function. So we're gonna wait for some time and um, try to click um, refresh a couple of times. You should be able to see the status in some time so that uh, our step, step functions workflow will be ready, all right? Okay, there you go, now the creation is complete. So if I go back to my resources, so you can see all the resources which are created here. You can see the Lambda policies, Lambda role, code pipeline, state machine. Um, so now that we have created this, um, so we will go to the step functions workflow. Okay, um, we'll see if the step function workflow is created or not. Um, yeah, looks like it has created my state machine. So which is going to, um, so we basically start the execution by providing some input to create a dynamic um, pipelines as we discussed. So for that, um, just click on start execution. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the uh, pass on the JSON that I have, which will basically create a Java application. Okay, um, so that's the um, JSON that I was talking about. So this is the JSON data where I'm gonna create a um, Java pipeline project. This is my project name. You can rename the project name uh, in whatever way, way you like. And um, uh, this will generate our pre-build, build, and post-build steps in our in our build spec file, and also your enable the artifacts reports um, in your pipeline. Okay, so so that simple it is. Um, so we're just passing the data to our state function, state step functions workflow to our state machine, where it will create all the resources required. Okay, and now let me just click on start execution. So that is it will take uh, probably around about five minutes and this is going to create our pipelines and stuff like that. So you can see the dependency graph here where it is going to create uh, dependencies, check dependencies, uh, dependencies, and you can see the pipeline creation initiated. So you can see the status one by one. Let's wait for the pipeline to be created until this step so that um, until this step where the pipeline will pipeline will be created successfully. Okay, so there you go. Now we are waiting for the pipeline to be created. Yeah, there you go. Finally, we have created our pipeline um, successfully. Now you can go back and just hit escape. So yeah, the execution status is also succeeded, which means our pipelines have been created. So to verify that, so in our template, we have mentioned that we are going to create a code commit, code build and code pipeline. So now let's verify the code commit. So if I click on code commit, so you should see the repository that, um, see, uh, there you go. So now we have created a repository called Java Pipeline Project. 
okay um so click on that you so you will be having some basic files that um we have uploaded to our s3 bucket so basically which is coming from sample code java so you have this sample code in our code comment repository with a generated build spec file okay so in this build spec file we have added our maven commands and stuff like that and we have our pre-build post build and uh, and artifacts or everything created um dynamically okay so i hope i hope um uh, this makes you um understand how we are creating the dynamic java java project uh using our step functions workflow which is pretty easy and also we will verify we will now verify whether the code build is also succeeded so if i go to code build so there you go this is our code build project and click on the code build um so you see our pipeline has succeeded and if you tail logs over here and you see all the steps which are um which happened in our code build okay um so now let's close this and go back to the code pipeline over here which is this so we'll see if the code pipeline is created yeah there you go so this is our code pipeline and if i expand that um so you can see our code checkout which has happened successfully um and also our code build we have seen earlier that our code build was also successful so basically we have created a java pipeline project uh, just by passing some input with a project name uh, to our step function workflow which has created the whole flow so for example if you want to create the same thing in your future projects so imagine if you do it manually you will take a lot of time to create these pipelines and you know create a repositories and stuff like that but so if you want to create dynamically uh, and if you want to create this stuff automatically so you just need to you know pass the step function workflow so you can um, create these projects on the fly on demand and it's it's pretty easy yeah and uh, so now we look we go back to the step functions again we'll start execution and now this time we, we are going to create our state machine okay um probably we can use the same state machine and we are going to start execution again and this time we will pass on the python data okay and now i have the same data that uh, we have used previously so this time but i'm going to use my python um, project so this time the tech stack is python the project name is python pipeline project and you have pre-build post-build and build steps in your uh, state machine okay so now let's go ahead and start execution so this is going to create our um, python project which basically creates our project which will create our pipeline code build and stuff like that as we have discussed so we're now waiting for the pipeline to be created so there you go so now you have successfully created your pipeline and hit escape so it looks like our execution status is succeeded. Now, to, in order to verify that your project is successfully created, you go ahead and open up the code commit and you should see another repository. Yeah, there you go. That's our Python project with some dummy files, with some example sample code that I have mentioned in our, um, so if I go one step back, so you have Python. So you have these um, test files in your code commit. So you can go ahead and open up this code commit repository and you can see the build spec file which is automatically generated for your pipeline okay so the pre-build post-build build commands um and you can see all your artifacts are also being uploaded okay um so now let's verify the code build so if i go to the code build open up the python pipeline and now you see your python pipeline is also succeeded and if you can tell logs you can see all the logs um while your execution now go to the code pipeline we'll now verify if the pipeline is created for our python project so if you click on the python and now you see our uh, pipeline for the python project is also created so now for me it is very easy to create a dynamic uh, pipelines for my uh, python projects and java projects i have my sample code here in my s3 bucket so it's pretty simple okay um so all that you need to do is you just need to upload your sample code for example if you want to extend this uh, application the best practice to extend to node applications or any other programming languages you just need to put your code here and also update these pipeline creation stacks uh, that you want okay and make sure you have uh, also this template.yaml file which is helpful for you to create the stack and create the resources that we need okay i hope you enjoyed this video so don't forget to go ahead and delete these resources because um if you want to keep it that's totally fine if you don't want just just hit this and delete all these tags that we have just created okay so which is um which i think will avoid you uh any uh costs associated with it okay um and 
yeah i think um i think that's it guys and thank you so much for watching this video please do please do like please do subscribe please please and comment down below uh, if you learn something from this and uh, please don't forget to share and i hope i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much